guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Summer. Nice to meet you. I go by sum.makeup on basically everything. And yes, I'm wearing a bear onesie in this video. <laughs> but guys, I'm very excited for this video because I just got some new equipment in. So I'm gonna be showing you kind of my makeup setup. Um, I wanna show you where I started, like up in my room, and then now I'm down in the basement. So I wanna show you kind of what everything looks like. And then I'm gonna put up my new setup and I'm gonna show you those new items and kind of how everything has transformed transform. Right, guys, so first I want to show you here. I want to bring you to my room. So this is actually where I first started doing my makeup. Uh, my desk was right here by the window. I would set up my camera right in front. I would open the window because I had no lighting or a ring light and I would just always do it right here in the daylight. So that was the little area right there. As you can tell, the room is pretty small here. So there really wasn't much area to do these videos. Like I said I always would have to do the videos in the daytime because at night, as we can see, the lighting is terrible in here. There is one light here. I don't know why it's like an orangey colored light or something. And then that one way over there, again, it's an orangey light. So there's just terrible lighting. There's terrible lighting just in this whole house in general. So I really needed to get the ring light. So in a moment, I'm gonna show you the ring light and I'm gonna show you the camera that I first started to do my videos with. This is the camera that I first got. I got it about three years ago. My dad got it for me for Christmas. It's the Canon EOS Rebel T3i. Um, it was about $800 or so. A very good camera. I actually, I still take all my photos on it. It's a really good camera. And like I said, it's been around for like three years and it still does the job. This feature on this camera is that it has the little flip here. So I first actually started recording videos on this camera, but the only thing that sucks about this camera is that there's no autofocus. So I would have to sit there, get my face in frame, and then hold down the button up here, and then have it focus. And I don't know if you guys have this camera and you know how to autofocus it, let me know, but it just really wasn't cutting it that much for videos. It's an awesome camera for just like the still photos. Here is the carrying case. Actually, it didn't come with this case, but um, this is a case that I got about a year later. My dad got it for me again. Um, I think it just came with one battery, so I had to buy, I think I have like three batteries here. There's some chargers. Um, this is the other lens that it comes with. I think I've only used this once. It's a lens, I don't know, I think you can zoom in really, really close on something. So that's everything it came with, and then it also came with a little strap. After the camera, shortly after that, I realized that I was gonna need some more lighting. Like I said, there isn't the best lighting in here. There's me. And um, this, my fiance got me this for Christmas, I think about two years ago. Um, it's a brand called Newer. It was off Amazon. I think this was less than maybe about a hundred bucks or so. Um, it comes with the, the stand or you might have to buy that separately. I'm not hundred percent sure, but this is the ring light here. You can't adjust the brightness at all. So this is it on. Woo. Very, very bright, very blinding. <laughs> right, so here we are. This is my room without the ring light. Let's turn the ring light on. Wow, blinding. See, look how nice that is now. Now there's good quality light. It's just nice and soft. Um, normally I would turn my lights off in the background too because I don't want anything reflecting. But as you can tell, it makes a whole lot of difference. No ring light, where am I even? Ring light. I'm blinded. No ring light, ring light. So this is how things evolved. I started in my room, like I told you, right here by the window, only shooting in daylight. Then I got that ring light and I was able to shoot now after hours because I have the nice ring light, but I still really didn't have a background. So if you were to scroll on my Instagram all the way down to the page, you're gonna see I'm always posing either on a red, it was either a red wall or a white wall. Can, why can't I say that? White wall. Yes. I'm gonna show you exactly where those were. So we're gonna go on a little tour. This is a nice background as well. There is a big window right over in this area here. So again, I would always be filming in the daytime. So there was a big window here, a big window there, open them up. I would have the nice daylight come in and then I would take my photos right here on this neutral wall. So that would be a tip for me as well. If you don't have backdrops, you know, you can't always start off with everything. 
hopefully in your house you just kind of maybe have a solid or neutral color that you can start off with. After the neutral white wall there, I decided I wanted some color. Sometimes for some of my looks, like when Christmas came up or I just felt like it was too boring, I wanted a different color. So this here, we have a red wall. So again, there were some windows, there are some windows here. I would just open the windows and stand right here on this red wall. So really that's all my background was, was just walls. Okay, now we're gonna get on to the final spot and into the final makeup room where you will see where all the action takes place. Makeup room. Da, da, da. So now I am down here in our basement and I have just everything set up here. We're not gonna go through any makeup or that, but this is my setup now. This divider right in the middle of the room. Now this I actually already had. When I was like a teenager, I always had themes for my room. And this was, I don't know, I had like stars and moons and I wanted one of those changing curtains or you know those things, I don't know, it like folds up, it's sturdy, but it folds up and you can, like you see people change behind it, I don't know. So I always wanted that, so I had that. And now what I do is I just take, this is just a sheet that I got off Amazon. And then the white one behind it is literally just a shower curtain. So nothing fancy here. Then what I do is I just put a chair right in the middle. And then right over here, that's where I have my ring light. I'll put the camera right on top there. I use this little desk here. I'll pull it up right beside me and that's where I will do my makeup in the mirror while it's recording right there. So it looks something like this. There we go. So like not bad at all. <laughs> looks a little makeshift, but that's really not bad. You can't go too wrong with that. This is me sitting right here on the chair. There is the backdrop behind me and the ring light is right in front of me. And then the camera I'm just holding, but normally it's on the little tripod thing. So that's it. That is my setup. Now let's get to the fun part. You guys, this is after like, I've been doing this for three years. So I didn't just start off with all of this stuff. I never started with the ring light. I was lucky enough. I did start with that DSLR camera, which really did help me a lot but um, I didn't start with any of this stuff and I'm still using, you know, just like a shower curtain. Now what I got, and I got two soft boxes and a real backdrop. No more of this changing cloth and no more shower curtain tablecloth stuff. So yes, two soft boxes and a backdrop. So I'm gonna set the camera up, I'm gonna set everything up and let's transform this room. says there's this little piece of paper that says need help yes I do need help I'm not sure how to set this up well that's okay I'm gonna go to a handy dandy YouTube and just figure it out myself all right well thank you Brian Greco how to set up a softbox lighting now I know how so there's these little sticks right here and I'm gonna show you just right over here. It's very hard to see. They kind of like slant in on a side right here. I'm gonna assume, cause that's the only holes there are. There are these over here, but I doubt it goes all the way back there. This is it. There's the white background here. 
So this is with everything here now. Here we have the white little cloth, whatever, backdrop thing. My ring light and the two soft boxes. This one looks a little bit like it needs a little bit of help here, but I don't... Hmm. It doesn't look that bright, does it? It definitely does have a different look. Like it kind of makes everything look softer, that's for sure. I kind of look a little bit glowy, or maybe I was just a little bit sweaty, I'm not sure. All right, well, that is it, guys. That is my new little setup here, my soft boxes, that little backdrop. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, so I definitely need to go and figure out I don't know, I feel like these are not quite in the right position yet. Um, I need to figure that out. And I don't know, do I need like a light behind me or something? I don't know, I still feel like the lighting just isn't 100%. I don't know, but I hope you guys had as much fun as I did because that was fun kind of setting everything up. And I'm still super excited to figure all this stuff out and get the optimal lighting here in this basement. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you, uh, you know, have any questions or something you want to ask me, um, go ahead and comment that. I'll leave all the descriptions to the products here that brand newer. And yeah, that's it guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.